Ricochet Consignment Software allows you to do discounts in two ways. One is an automatic discount based off in-stock date, which is normally utilized by furniture or clothing consignment stores. But there's also the ability to set automatic POS discounts based off things like consigner, category, or in-store location. So to set this up, you would first go to Preferences, then down to Products, and then click on the Discounts tab. Here you're going to see the Consignment Auto Discounts, which was the discount option we mentioned earlier. But in store-wide discounts, this is where you can add in automatic discounts to occur at the POS screen. What you would do is start up by clicking the orange plus sign to create a new store-wide discount. And from here, you can name the discount, choose the format, either percentage or flat rate, and then choose an amount for the discount. Then decide who's going to absorb the discount, meaning who's going to take responsibility for it. If it's set to shared, that means you'll share the discount with the consigner. If it's sent to consigner, then the consigner will absorb the discount, and if it's set to store, the store will absorb the discount. Next, you're going to choose the discount type. And the types available are going to be all products, category, consigner, or in-store location. Now, once you choose either category, consigner, or in-store location, the parameter field will open up and you'll just add in an additional parameter. So let's go through a couple of examples. For many vendor-based businesses, vendors might do discounts on items over a weekend period. So you would start out by giving the discount a name, maybe putting in the vendor's name or the booth number, then setting up the format, which most likely is going to be percentage. So we'll choose 20%. Next in the absorbed field, we're going to change it to consigner, meaning that this 20% is going to be deducted from what the vendor would make from the sale. Then we would choose consigner and set parameter, and the parameter would be that vendor's name. Now when you hit save, that auto discount will apply whenever an item of theirs gets added to the POS screen. And this will also occur if you're using the manual sale process at the point of sale. Now let's say you're a clothing consignment store and maybe you want to get rid of a specific category of items before moving into next season. You can name the discount, whatever it might be, set your percentage or fixed amount, change the absorbed to store, change the type to category, and in the parameter field, choose the category you want to discount. Now the last one is in-store location. And what this allows you to do is set a clearance rack or sale discount across the board on a set of items. So let's say you've got some items that have been in the store for forever and you want to heavily discount them just to get them off your sales floor. You could set up a new discount named clearance, choose your format, maybe 50%, set the absorb to store, and then set the in-store location as the type. Now you would need to create an in-store location, something like clearance or sale rack, and whenever you attach an item to this, it would automatically use that discount at the point of sale. Now if you ever need to delete any of these discounts, you can click the red X, or you can click the green toggle button in the active field to turn the discount off in case you may use it again in the future. Now one more thing to note, if you are using the Ricochet Web Store add-on, by clicking the Web Store toggle button to on, then these discounts would be available for your online shoppers.